I'm Stuart Brush, a minister of the United Church of Christ, a parent of a murdered child. My son, Dean, was murdered in Bridgeport as the pizza boy on April 9th of 1983. So uh, April 9th, a couple of days ago, was a very heavy day around the Brush House. Dean's birthday was April 7th, and his death day was April 9th. He was murdered by three boys as he was delivering pizzas, and he was shot to death four times. The last bullet went through his head and lodged in his brain. I have always uh, believed in the death penalty, uh, not necessarily as a result of Dean's murder, but as a result of uh, looking at the different resources of life and figuring things out and what would be best uh, for a society to uh, handle this kind of a situation. The death penalty states the seriousness of the taking of life. Life was taken away from our family. In removing the death penalty, the implication is that murder in not receiving the capital penalty, even though we paid the capital price in our family, if we're not going to expect the capital penalty, if we're not going to give that as a judgment, whether or not the sentence is carried out, if we're not going to give that as the judgment, then Dean's life was of less than capital importance. And I don't buy that. And I don't think you do either. Are these outrageously describable losses best described as being balanced off by the punishment of life in prison without parole or by the death penalty? Even if the death penalty is seldom or even never used, at least let's call murder, murder. Let's at least call the taking of life by its right name. Let's tell the murderer that, come what may, for the taking of life, death is what you deserve. <laughs>